What is a Megger? How does it work? How do you read it? And what can you use it for? Let's go find out. What makes a Mega very unique is the fact that it's specifically designed to read millions of ohms. So that's what a Mega Ohm is. It's millions of ohms at a higher voltage. Let's get a little deeper into that. I have the Mega set up to read uh, DC volts. And you can see three being displayed right now. My meter is set to read uh, two, up to 200 ohms range. What this is telling you is that this meter set to read up to 200 ohms is outputting three volts of dc voltage now i have the ability to manually move this up to 20 million ohms as the top end range and you can see just by adjusting that range up i dramatically reduce the amount of voltage output in dc volts being put to whatever load device i'm trying to register i've got it switched around and i am set to 500 volts at a 200 million ohm range and at 500 volts i'm outputting 534 volts of dc out of this mega right now i am wired up to my uh, mega ohms and i'm set to just one of the windings and a general ground point now you're going to see 422 mega ohms and what we're gonna do is it started off at 422 and you see it's kind of slowly dropping a little bit. We're gonna continue to monitor this for about you know 120 seconds is, is generally what I recommend, anywhere from 60 seconds to 120. And then you're gonna see what it comes out to at the very end. After a couple of minutes of time on the Mega, we've settled out at about 409 million ohms. And overall, that is a good reading. That's a passable reading as far as the Mega is concerned. Coming over here to this smaller blower motor, we've got the leads hooked up. I've got a ground point. Let's see what it reads. So you're going to see as soon as it comes in, it's just an immediate spike up. That was a very stark contrast to what the compressor had done. That means that we went above the rating for this Mega, and I was reading that at a thousand volts output. And that gives me a two billion ohm range, meaning that this this motor megged at above two billion ohms at a thousand volts DC. Now I have intentionally simulated a ground at this point, and this is what it would look like if it was a short with a motor out in the field. Is you're just going to read a flat zero ohms. Now something I'm going to warn you about is you can have a short like this and get that reading with a mega, but a regular meter wouldn't see that. You would still so say I'd set to 2 million ohms under the right conditions, I could make I could ohm this motor and still register, you know, I was above 20 million ohms. But yet I put the mega on it and I I read a flat line to zero. Now let's talk about what these readings mean. I'm going to tell you from one experience and two of the research that I've done over the years, here's what I'm looking for. What I want to see is I want to see more than 40 million ohms, period. Now the closer to 40 million I get, the more concerned I get. So what I would love is every single time I get above that 2 billion mark without fail. When I start seeing readings like that compressor has where I had 409 million once it settled out, then I start to say, okay, I, I need to start monitoring something here, especially by the time I start getting down below the 200 million mark, closer to 100 million, I really start to recommend to the customer, we need to do routine uh, checks and monitoring of this motor because it's, it's on a serious decline between 20 million and 40 million I call I consider that kind of like a caution range if it's on just a regular uh, Hard start setup to where it's just got a contactor that closes and goes it's probably gonna be okay It'll still run uh, it, but it may occasionally trip out say the motor itself is probably gonna start running a little hot If it's on a VFD and that's the case that motors probably not going to run most of the time a vfd or, or an inverter driven motor is going to require that minimum 40 million mark or above anything below that if it runs at all it's, it's going to have a lot of intermittent issues and things and then below 20 million ohms is just a, it's it, that motor's done it's dead if you can make it run at all at that point you're, you're extremely fortunate. So what are we actually looking at when we see mega ohms? W what we're doing is, is another term for a megometer is a motor installation tester. And that's literally what we're doing. We're testing the, the installation of the motor to ground. And that installation begins to get weaker and weaker and weaker 
uh, as the motor has wear on it. Well, by you being able to put that mega on it, you're gonna be able to see what a higher voltage output to ground if there's any weak points in that insulation. And the temperature of the motor does play a big factor. If you have a motor that's warm and hot, it, it's gonna probably have a much lower reading than if you let the motor cool down and, and come to a neutral temperature. I highly recommend that you get one that is a digital display. You need something that has a digital readout that you can watch monitor you know exactly what's happening and you're able to really tune that in like I've said before in other videos those fluke megas you I mean you're talking five six hundred dollars for the the basic ones and they go up even more beyond that I use this all the time when it comes to any kind of blower motors compressor motors uh, just any kind of a motor if it's a motor this can be used and utilized and it's an extremely effective tool that not very many people understand or are comfortable with at all. And the reason I also recommended that you, you want to wait that 60 seconds or 120 seconds is because there can be degradation on the, the insulation reading. As you let that voltage sit on that insulation for you know 60 seconds, for example, you're allowing degradation to take place and that's why that reading may slowly kind of start to drop off a little more by a little more so that's your basic overview of what a mega is what it does how it functions what's the purpose behind it applications we can use it for hope this helps guys we'll wrap it up here use it